So that was my aha moment. I realized, oh, I've been working out my lungs unknowingly because I've been pulling air through that infected hole. So unknowingly, I made my, my whole lung system, my inspiratory system stronger. So why don't I come up with something that controls the air intake? And that was it. And then finally, That's I started, nice. oh, there you got it. I started making it. And it's a very simple device. It starts with a hole of 15 millimeter, millimeter. You start training with it. And once you feel that you get the same air as you did before, you go to 14 millimeter. Boss Ruther, will like, he said, Boss Ruther from the OT Trainer? Yeah, we're already using it. Inspiratory trainers. I love the product. So what is the difference? The difference is when you control the air out as well, you cannot completely empty your lungs oh. because you, you do it with resistance. But if you complete an air out is all with force, it's all done by your core and your diaphragm and your intercoastal muscles here and your ribs. But breathing in is also done with that. It's much harder to breathe in. But as soon as I start stopping the airflow out, I cannot completely exhale anymore before I take a new breath. And that's what I started with. So now we're going to come out with all these medical journals with Usain Bolt. All these people that he trains all do inspiratory muscle training. So they all use that kind of a device? All, all use, yeah. Wow. So like those masks that you wear that control in and out, those There's are no not, good. That, that, that was the... That's the, the competition. Yeah. That was the competition, yeah. But the, so it's just something that just controls in and then you can breathe out with your own mouth. Like, so it. you breathe in through it, and then when you breathe out, what do you, how does it work when you breathe out freely? How does Everything it work? Everything comes out, because it has two valves. One side is the where they have the holes on, mm -hmm. uh, and on the other side, you have a flap. And if, you, if I breathe in, the flap closes, oh, forces you to breathe into one that's side. That's brilliant. Yeah, and it, uh, dude, and it works. Ninja. And the only thing that this the scientist said is said, well, you can use it like you did, boss, with training because it cured me from my asthma. On my website, you will read a lot of people cured for their asthma. I don't use an inhaler anymore, and I used an inhaler my entire life, even before world title fights. Always had an inhaler with me because if I would sneeze, for instance, very aggressively three times, my lung would close. I have to open them up with an inhaler. I haven't used an inhaler for two and a half, three years now anymore. So it it works with everything. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and what he said, what I wanted to say is what he does, he lets them in the morning do 30 repetitions. So they take That's a smaller, idea. tiny hole, and you, you lean over with the auto trainer, and once you, you breathe out, you, every bit of air goes out of your lungs, and then you, while you're breathing in, you're sitting straight up. And then you breathe everything out again. You do so 30 like repetitions in the morning. That's nice. it. For you. For your inside. So that's all you're doing is just 30 repetitions? That's it. And that'll build you up. If you go for six weeks, two times a day, 30 minutes, and uh, 30 repetitions, and after that, just one time a day, the increase you're going to have, you're not going to have any lactic acid in your core, which, by the way, is the most important thing in fighting. That's why everybody gets tired, I always say, because they're... The muscles start pumping, you know, just like your, your biceps are pumping, and they start pushing your lungs backwards. So now your lungs cannot freely inhale anymore because you're pushing them backwards with your core. I said, that's why would you, before a fight, I would do a lot of abs, but constant stretching abs. S abs, stretching, st abs, stretching. And that was for that reason, because I know if this gets tight, your core gets tight, oh, everything goes downhill. That's why the guys in the beginning with the, with the steroids, where they, well, in the beginning, they're still doing it, apparently, but you, you saw guys, who, they, because if you use steroids, you pump much harder, right? So they're very strong until the core builds up with lactic acid. Now the lungs can't breathe in anymore. And that's why you see them going strong, 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 strong. And then suddenly they drop and it's over with them. That's the reason. So your protocol for this O2 trainer is you do it 30 times, like 30 breaths. 30 breaths in the morning, 30 in the evening. After six weeks, you increase your whole respiratory. They say you got 15 to 20% you will gain. It's in, it's incredible. You cannot do this with twenty percent in how in how long? How much time? That was six weeks. If in you start, six weeks, you gonna yeah, you'll be amazed. Uh, once we're gonna come out with all these journals, you're gonna you're gonna like. So it. 